Hello and welcome back to another enthralling episode of Steve Does Thursdays. Um, a few weeks ago we um, started a series where we were going to try and feed both of us for £5. Pound. Um, we started off in farm foods and we found it very difficult so we thought we'll try a little so that will be easy. No. We ended up spending £4.59 and the extra 41p um, we couldn't get anything else with, for that. So what we ended up with, we ended up with some baby potatoes, a tin of high class beans, some chicken drumsticks and a bottle of barbecue sauce. So obviously I could knock something up in five minutes but I thought let's have a test. Let <laughs> let me give it to Pen and see what well, she can come up Steve does with. Thursdays. Yeah Steve does Thursdays but I always uh, you know I like to help the uh, who's it I like to help. Yeah you do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to help the community. So you're our community so Pen will knock up something with this for £4.59. Um, obviously, we are going to go to other shops um, and see what we can do for a fiver. Um, it's a lot harder than it used to be. But there you go. Welcome to the show. And uh, at some point, I'll see you again. But I am going to hand over to the uh, assistant and uh, let's see what she comes up with. See you again very soon. Go. Right. Okay. What are we going to do? Mm. Well, I think it's sort of obvious, but I will say I am going to assume. Shouldn't assume because it makes an ass out of you and me. But I am going to assume that we've all got basic kitchen store cupboard things. We've all got oil. We've all got salt. We've all got pepper. We've all got access to water, and we've got a. Um, herb and spices of various sorts okay but our main ingredients £4.59 so we are going to season up our chicken he's put the bloody telly on we are going to season up our chicken and we're going to cook it in the air fryer and then we're going to brush it with some of the barbecue sauce the beans, just going to heat them up on the hob, but we're going to make them barbecue beans. A little bit of that in there. Now the potatoes. I'm going to parboil, then I'm going to put them in a big bowl, and I'm going to put some herbs, some spices, some oil on them. I'm going to crush them down before I do that, and they're going to be air fried too. Right, so that's 4.59, that's what I'm going to do, so um, I'll just tell you there. Right, in my bag I have got some salt, some sea salt, and some black pepper, and I've also put about three quarters of a teaspoon of um, smoked paprika, and then I've added six of the chicken drumsticks. Um, it, there was a pack of eight, but we wouldn't eat eight, that is for sure. But I am going to cook the other two, but I'm just going to cook them tiny. So all I'm doing is I'm just tossing around and getting some more flavour on. Obviously there will be some flavour from the um, barbecue sauce, but we're just, you know, just a little bit more flavour. And I think really the salt pepper, I'm sure you've all got, the paprika, most people will have. Haven't got smoked juice, sweet, it doesn't matter. It's just to try and, and that flavour, that's what we're trying to do. So now I need to pop them into the drawer of my Ninja or your air fryer, whatever one you've got. You don't have to go out and buy a Ninja. Okay. 
you know what? There was nine. Guess you can't count. I made sure I left two in there. And um, there's actually nine of them in total, so that's it. That's nine chicken drumsticks we now have in there. Right, and I'll just show you them briefly. There we go, they've all fitted in one side of the ninja. And we're going to move you so that you can see. There we go, ninja on. We will air fry and we'll air fry at 180, zone one, and we'll go for 20 minutes, but obviously, as I always say, we go for temperature, not time. So I will be using a temperature probe to just check and make sure everything's okay. Now, my beans. My beans, that's an empty tin, isn't it? Empty pan. I'm just going to open these. Always give them a shake. They don't look bad, actually. And a 42 pence. So less than half the price of Heinz beans, that's for sure. Now I'm just going to add in just a little bit of the, this is Kansas barbecue, which is rich and, oh wow, rich and tangy, and that's, oh gosh, it's quite runny. Um, rich and tangy, and that smells absolutely fabulous. So I've just put some in there and I'm just going to stir it through. Now you could add some um, chopped cooked bacon, well, that would be quite nice, but it would go over my budget. You could add some onions. If little did loose onions, then that would have fallen within the budget, but they don't, so I can't. I would have, I would have done these, diced those really finely sauteed them off and then just added them so that's those ready you don't have to do anything my potatoes as I say I have already parboiled and they are so I need to drain those off and let them dry out a bit my potatoes have sort of steam dried a little and I'm just using a glass to crush them and the reason I'm crushing them is it gives us a bigger surface area for our, and they're jolly hot still, for our herbs and spices to hit. Now normally if I was doing something at dinner like this I would make spicy wedges. Well obviously trying to do it for five pound a tin of potatoes does not a tin a pack of potatoes wasn't possible to fall in with that ethos but the new potatoes did because they were just 99 pence right and now into the same pot that I cooked the spuds in I'm going to add some oil Ouch! 
new tongs and we'll just give everything a little do actually is I will paint this all and I'll just paint it onto our potatoes and then they'll go in to the other side of the air fryer. So I'll just get on with doing these and you'll be back when I pop them in. Right then, they're all covered. We'll take them out and we shall Now pop them into the air fryer, into the second drawer or the second part of the, uh... oh they are so well cooked. Right, so we're going to pop those in and they really are nicely crushed. I've still got a little bit of the mix in the pan so I, when I turn them I can brush the other side. Now these are cooked but we want them to crisp up and that's the whole point of crushing them down. We've got more surface area for our flavourings but also we'll get some nice little gnarly bits. doing lovely but I will turn that over too because it's about halfway through the cook. If you noticed I alternated how the chicken was so we've got the fat part against the thinner part so that it cooks more evenly. Right. There we go, and now they're going in. And zone two, we want to air fry, and we're going to air fry at 190, and we'll go for about 10 minutes, and we press start. That's it, that's all I need to do. I will turn them, I will check the temperature of the chicken, and uh, just gently heat the beans and we'll be ready to dish up. I'm just going to turn the potatoes over and try not to break them all because they're very tender. So, as I say, I'm not cooking them, I'm just crisping them. So, they're breaking up but they should still taste good is all about the taste and I've got the remaining oil and flavorings and I'm just going to brush the other side of these potatoes. I've checked the temperature of the chicken and it's doing well it's 69 to 71 degrees so what I will do is I will um, paste on some of the barbecue sauce now. So we'll pop it in there. And if we had put it on at the very beginning, the chances were, well, it would have burnt. But putting it on now, we'll get some gnarly bits but we should get more flavour into the chicken. I've turned the chicken once, as you know, and I'll give this, what have I got, nine minutes left. So I'll give this about five minutes on this side and turn it and brush again and it'll have five minutes on the other side. But let's just make sure you can see there we are. 
looking quite nice, I think. And back we go. Right then, let's take a little look, shall we? now turn over again and this is just so that we can coat the other side with the barbecue sauce and what I will do I think I don't know I will is I will turn the temperature up in a little while just to get it really really crusty oh but whilst we're here let's see how we're doing temperature wise there we go can you see that so they are cooked that is reading 78 degrees so they're cooked that's one of the bigger ones so lots of barbecue sauce say the potatoes are looking really beautiful right here we go it's a finish just put the beans on and realistically the next time you see this lot it will be on our plates Right then, we're cooked, we're dished up. Let me just show you. There we go, bring it out, you can see. So that is barbecue chicken with spicy potatoes and barbecue beans. Now, £4.59 from Lidl. There we go, oh, can you see? There we go, £4.59 from Lidl. But I have three drumsticks left because I cooked um, seven didn't I I have half the bag of potatoes left and I have a portion of beans left and mm, about a third of the jar of barbecue sauce so yes five pounds or oh, <laughs> It's got all on my glasses or thereabouts four pound fifty nine but it would do three realistically it's going to do it will do three meals so i'm just painting on some more of the barbecue sauce now don't worry because i didn't start painting on until the chicken was cooked so there's no chance of a cross contamination but what we need to do mm, is uh get steve see what he thinks because after all, it is a Steve Does Thursdays. Right, as you've seen, Pen came up with this. It looks very nice. Um, barbecue chicken. Yeah. That's what that said for. <laughs> Hot. Yes. What these got on these? Huh? They've got um, paprika, oregano, salt, pepper, and a little bit of um, cayenne. Meat for the ingredients we got. We got a meal, haven't we? Yeah, and I've got. You're quite spicy. Yeah, that's a cayenne. I've got three um, nuggets. Three nuggets. Penny three cayenne. A, left. a deadly combination. Barbecue. That's right. It's, it's actually okay. Do you want to try the beans because they've got some barbecue in as Have well? You but, it yeah, just barbecue sauce, but they're the little beans. I wouldn't know they were little beans. Well, I would because I was there when you bought yeah. them. Yeah. Well, when we bought them. Yeah. But actually, Usually with the cheaper bean, although these weren't cheap, cheap beans. No, 42p. Cheaper than Heinz, and I don't like Heinz. 
Um, comment below whether you like Heinz. Um, they're quite soft, but actually, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna enjoy it. So, oh, I think that's a success. We definitely got a meal. Um, we did discuss it, and we think we'll be able to do more stuff. Strange enough, if we go to a supermarket where we can buy one of one thing, we didn't really need eight chicken legs. Um, but that's all we could buy. So, I think when we get into a bigger supermarket, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda's, where you can buy, say for instance, a carrot, a onion, but that's, that's fine. I am mean, going to enjoy that. So, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, please like. What? Just get me to turn it off because it's your Thursday. I'm not going to do it. <coughs> And uh, we'll see you again soon. Please comment. Give us some. If you've got some ideas for us, please let us know. Okay. So I'm gonna go and eat this before it gets cold. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye.